It's said that the Paris catacombs hold the remains of more than 6 million people. That alone is creepy enough. But what makes it even more terrifying is the fact that it's also home to ghosts, active criminals, and secret societies. If you want to learn about this and more, make sure to stick around for today's video. Starting off this countdown, we have the secret underground community. Believe it or not, but there is a group of urban explorers that like to hang out in the Paris catacombs. They call themselves the Cataphiles, and they sneak into the tunnels, evade the police, and then go exploring. In fact, they have claimed a number of sections as their own, marking it with murals and graffiti. Not only that, but they have found secret ways to get into the catacombs. Plus, they've started mapping the whole place out so that other explorers don't get lost. Only problem is that this is a very dangerous hobby. Since they are entering restricted areas in the catacombs, they have to watch out for crumbling walls, falling rocks, even pools of water. I don't know about you, but I prefer to spend my time with the living and not the dead. In our ninth spot, we have the Lost Girl. In 2005, a group of teens illegally snuck into the catacombs on New Year's. Sadly, they all didn't make it out alive. They all were drinking and having a blast when one of their friends, Masha, wandered off alone. When they finally realized she had disappeared, they went out looking for her but couldn't find her. No one knew what happened to her until four months later. That's when a group of boys were exploring the catacombs when they stumbled upon her frozen body. Since she was drunk, she wandered off to another section of the catacombs and then got lost and froze to death. How heartbreaking. Coming in at number 8, we have Philibel Aspel. Philibel Aspel was a doorkeeper at the Val de Grace Hospital during the French Revolution. And the hotel actually had a staircase located in the courtyard that would lead to the catacombs. So one night in November of 1793, Philibel descended into the catacombs to retrieve a bottle of liquor stored down there. However, he only brought one candle with him and it was not enough to light the way. Eventually, it blew out and he was down there in pitch black. Being semi-intoxicated, he stumbled around the catacombs lost. For 11 years, no one knew what happened to him. That was until 1804 when his body was found. He was identified by the hospital key ring hanging from his belt. Moving on to number 7, we have the Whispering Walls. A number of explorers have claimed that no one should ever be in the Paris catacombs after midnight. For if you are, then the walls will begin to speak. People have claimed to have heard disembodied voices coming from the catacombs. These voices confuse them and try to persuade them to travel deeper and deeper into the catacombs until you're in too far that you're lost and you can't escape. Actually, fun fact, they use this as inspiration for the movie As Above, So Below, which takes place in the Paris catacombs. In our sixth spot today, we have the camera system. In 2004, a group of French police explored some of the restricted areas of the Paris catacombs. And that's when they discovered something truly terrifying. First, they found a PA system that when triggered would play sounds of guard dogs barking. Then they found a full on bar, living area, workshop, lounge, and cinema with space to fit 20 people. Like what? Not only that, but whoever created this little home setup was stealing other people's electricity from above. The creepiest part is that they had a full on security camera set up, and the police soon realized that they were being watched. They left to get a bigger team to further investigate the area, but by the time they got back, everything was gone. The only thing left was a note that read, don't search. We're now at our fifth and halfway mark with De Kiel. De Kiel is the name of a very mysterious man. We don't know much about him, but we do know that he was a veteran of the French army. And he was also an artist. In fact, he created a number of sculptures for the catacombs. However, this eventually led to his death. During the construction of one of his sculptures, a part of it fell and crushed him completely. It's said that to this day, his soul wanders the catacombs. In fact, people have seen him down there before. In our fourth spot today, we have the Crypt of Passions. The Crypt of Passions, located in the ossuary, is a pillar that is covered in skulls to the point that it's just completely concealed. The skulls end up forming what looks like a barrel, which is creepy for a number of reasons. Just take in, those are real skulls. You're surrounded by people who used to be living, and most of them died in tragic ways. And then their bones were used for an art display. 
A number of people who have visited this area in the catacombs have reported feeling very uneasy around the Crypt of Passion. It's believed that some of the souls that were placed there have not found peace. I mean, in some cultures, they believe that a proper burial must be done with a tomb marker or else the soul will never be able to rest or go to the afterlife. However, that was not possible at the time. The catacombs were built because grave overcrowding was a serious issue back then, among other things. In our third spot today, we have the scratch marks. There's this really creepy area in the Paris catacombs where it's just a wall of scratches. Like it looks as if bodies rose from the dead and tried to scratch their way out. It's a creepy touch to the place, that's for sure. Moving on to number two, we have the Lost Tape. Now I'm sure all of you have heard about this urban legend before, and in fact it also inspired the movie As Above So Below. And it might not even be a legend, it might be real, but to this day, no one knows. Once upon a time in 1990, a weird dusty camcorder was discovered in the catacombs. The camera appeared to have been there for quite some time, so they decided to inspect it. What was found on it was very disturbing. The video was of an unidentified male explorer wandering around the catacombs. While down there, we see him interacting with the skulls around him. But then something spooks the man and he ends up growing paranoid and panicked. At one point, he drops the camera and just runs away. Sadly, he never made it out alive. This tape contains the final moments of his life. And in our number one spot today, we have the criminals. In 2017, it was discovered that a group of robbers used the catacombs to break into an apartment. Basically, they figured out that the catacombs were right under an apartment vault. So they drilled their way in through the limestone and entered the apartment to steal over 300 bottles of vintage wine. In total, they valued at close to 250,000 euros. Isn't that insane? All right guys, that's all for today's video. If you wanna see part two, then let me know in the comments below. And speaking of comments, let's move on to our comment shout out portion. I'll be shouting out comments from the video, top 10 dark crossbreeding experiments scientists don't want you to know about, part three. Kyle Owens commented, Lindsay is a goddess. I am, thank you. How did you know? Just kidding, I, I, I made a comment like this last time and someone was like, oh my god, you're so like egotistical. Like, <laughs> relax, I'm just joking guys. Thanks Kyle though, love you. <laughs> Arthur Tapia commented, why people? I know, I was researching that and the whole horse human thing. If you guys haven't seen the video, you need to go watch it to see what I'm talking about. But I was researching it and I was like, Oh, like there's a whole list of people that do stuff with animals and I'm not here for it. And Michelle Centineo commented, comment something down below. I ain't commenting anything. You just, I mean, okay then. Sure, whatever you say. All right guys, that's all the comments I'm shouting out for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 for more amazing videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ogden, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye.